Kevin. It's been a while since you've been here. Oh, yes, Oliver. I know. I, it has been a while since I've been here. I mean, to be honest, the last time I was here was around my birthday, and that was back in November, and this is January. Even though, in the real world, it's snowing, but here, the snow is all gone. Huh. You never really notice things like that until they actually happen. Yeah, I can agree with you on that one. I mean, lots of things can happen without you even knowing. So, Oliver, um, what are you doing today? Oh, I'm taking this train here that was left on the line. Uh, I don't know who's supposed to be taking it, but Sir Topham Hat told me to collect it. Actually, Oliver, the thing is, is that... Wait, hold on. What's in the back of Scruffy there? It looks like a lot of old scrap or something. In fact, in, in front of Scruffy there is like a big bucket or something. Oh, uh, right. Well, you see, Oliver, um, Scruffy is, uh, filled with some scrap metal for you to take to the scrapyard or something like that. Uh, and why? Because, well, useful engine 11, what did you do now? Okay, I confess, I may have, uh, taken Marion and Diesel 10 apart, you see, and wait, what did you do? Look, Oliver, what I mean is, is that I didn't do anything bad to them. I just upgraded them, like how I did with you when I first bought, when, or when Sir Topham Hat technically bought you. But, oh man, sometimes it's hard for me to come to the Island of Silver when I know that the events of what of your tales basically happened, but useful in 11, this may be the real island of Sodor, but you know we're also made out of wood. At least we're not Thomas Wood. In fact, I'm not even in that franchise. Yeah, you're right about that. My point is, is that I upgraded Marion and Diesel 10 to look better, because they didn't look the greatest. So, does that explain why Marion's shovel is in the back of Scruffy? Yes, Oliver, it does. Alright. But what about Diesel 10's claw? Oh, that's also in there too. Oh, now I see. Uh, yeah, Oliver, that's why. Harvey was just here finishing up the job, loading the scrap metal into, uh, well, Scruffy. So after you're done taking your goods to, well, wherever you're taking it, then you're gonna take Scruffy and tow to the scrapyard. Not, and you're not gonna push him in, of course. Wait, what? I'm joking, Oliver. I'm totally joking. I know you've had troubles with scrap before, but I didn't mean to pull that joke. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. It's just I can't take a joke. Well, Oliver, me neither, so I guess that makes two of us. But anyways, my point is, take Scruffy down to the scrapyard where they unload the scrap and then it'll be gone forever. Oh, well, alright then. But wait, if you upgraded Marion and Diesel 10, then where are they? They should be coming soon. I'm supposed to be making a video on them, which means I need to get back to, back to the real world before they get here. But, however, I'm gonna at least, well, however, it's fine for now. All right, then. All right, then. Well, Oliver, I'm afraid I kept you held up long enough, so off you go. Right, right you Slender 11. See ya. Bye, Oliver. Well, anyways, I better get back to my, well, I guess, real world before... <coughs> Dang it, it's too late. Marion and Diesel 10 are already coming. Glad you made it, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to wait a little while. I need to get back to the real world before I, you know, shoot a video on you, if you guys get what I mean. But don't worry, 
you guys are going to be extra special in this video. Hello everyone, Useful Engine 11 here. Now, today I'm not here for custom video, unless if you guys prefer this to be a custom video, but here I am with upgrade versions of Marion and Diesel 10, the way I like them. Recently, and by recently I mean like at the beginning of 2020, I got a little bit of money for Christmas, and I decided to, sp and I got a Myers gift card in the process, and I went to Myers and I found the Trackmaster Rebecca. And while I still have Rebecca, I decided to do something unique with um Marion with the shovel that came with it and the Diesel Ten and the Diesel Ten claw as well. Which meant, let me just pull up Scruffy and pull this back a bit. That acquired me to get rid of Marion's shovel and Diesel 10's claw as well that was on the original Marion and Diesel 10. So guys, let's me move Diesel 10 over to the side since Marion, unfortunately, was the first one that I completed. So guys, well, first, my, the first thing I had to do was I had to swap out this, um, big massive shovel for, of course, the advent, for this, adventure shovel of course you see what i did was that i took um a screw and like hammered it through like the plastic part of the well i guess shovel and so on the other side here i had to use a part of the marion to like super glue in to keep the screw in place so the bucket would you know I guess stay on completely and the thing is, is that like it moves up and down not all the way up but it works well enough and so yeah I completely like ripped out the shovel now let me tell you guys my original plan was actually to go with um an adventures marrying shovel but when I but since I got this shovel I mean it it just drew my interest. Also, guys, so you're going to ask me, why did I do this? Well, I asked a lot of my people on Twitter, and they said yes. So I did, so that's what I did. I've shown these off, I've shown Marion off on my, um, Twitter and Instagram. So here are, are a few pictures of work in progress, Marion. Well, anyways, so there you go. Oh, and an extra thing I added. I added a funnel to her, and if I can get it, that gold line right there is her whistle. However, I still need to add the back bunker to her, because, yeah, and here's a picture from Rytron 12 that I screenshotted. See, guys? That's why I exactly want to make um, a bunker for Marion, since she has it in the show. So let me move the shovel out of the way. But overall, yeah. So I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of what I did here. Oh, by the way, guys. Um, this I think it's this arm right here or this arm, but it's supposed to be painted orange. But I left it the way it is, though. However, I'm perfectly okay with that. Well, anyways, let's move away from Marion and let's take a look at the best one I did. Diesel Ten. Well, guys, I will say, I am very proud when it comes to Diesel 10. He just looks so good and so big, bad, and menacing. It's just, that's why I gave Diesel 10 this claw, this claw, because it just looks better. So, like I said, guys, the, the claw here comes from the track master Rebecca. Um, but, however, I ripped it off from... From this original piece that came with it of course and then here's diesel 10's original claw and also guys i took a picture of diesel 10 with his original claw to 
I guess, spare, like, to savor the moments. Anyways, here's the picture of Diesel 10 with his original claw. So, yeah. And, so, Diesel 10's claw here, I gave him a mechanical arm. So, guys, want to see the magic? I bet you would. See? His claw can raise. It can turn. And, since this part here opens, here, but I have to take the claw off. That's another thing, guys. I can also take out, take away the claw if necessary. And then I just put it back. And then, see, guys, look at Diesel 10. And this part here can move up and down. And so can this part. So I can base it. So Diesel 10 looks so much better. The best part is I can take the claw off for if I remake the director's cut of Thomas the Magic River one day, but that won't be for a long time. So guys, the thing right here uh, was a gray Lego that I painted black, and then right here is another Lego that fits on here to hold the claw, and this is like a mechanical, so if I leave the claw like this, this is a black Lego that I super glued to this lamp post. Okay, guys, so, another thing about Diesel 10. So, let me pull up the picture of the lamp post thing. So, here, I had a blue lamp that was very, really small, and the arm with that used to be blue was perfect for Diesel 10. I had to cut it down a little bit, but, however, it was looking very nice. So, after I cut it down, I basically painted over it, and here's another picture of that. And see, here's me painting the picture in, or here's me in the original claw, I guess you could say. I took many pictures of this when it came to Diesel 10 and all that stuff. And same with Marion, but Diesel 10 has more attention out of them all. So, yeah guys, that's basic, so that's basically Diesel 10. The claw and everything looks so good. I'm just very happy about how he turned out. I mean, it's not every day that I knew how to do something like this. However, I kind of got the idea from Thomas Trackmaster Reductions 2016 and Krovensgate55, I think his username is. Because their Teasel 10 models looked great, whether Trackmaster or Take and Play. And now, I made a wooden railway Diesel 10 that looks absolutely awesome. And now, Diesel 10 and Marion look great. However, still, I'm going to add the bunker on Marion, but for now, I think they look very good right now. Well guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. It took a lot of work and progress to make Diesel 10 and Marion look great. Now, they both look the way I want them to, and I'm very happy about that. So guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you all know upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see um, any projects I have in the future. And by the way, guys, let me mention that the Diesel 10, that one of my Diesel 10 posts got like over, or basically 100 likes. 100 likes. I have never gotten that many likes before on a post before. However, I've only had like Twitter for about a few months, like about six or seven, and well, I'm, I was just astonished. On the other hand, the, another question you'd be asking, what am I going to do with basically um the extra spare parts with Diesel 10's claw and Marion's shovel? I do not know, but that will have to wait for another day. So guys, I like I said, follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see all new upcoming videos. To see all new upcoming projects and follow me on snapchat and subscribe to my second channel like i said useful engine 11 productions so guys this is useful engine 11 signing out take care and i'll see you all in the next video